Between brick houses, a chicken crosses a dirt road. Yes, My grandfather's house fell down. Tarsila snaps smartphone photos of a dilapidated stone house. That's the house where I was born. It was very small, but in this house we ate, slept, and lived. Hi, how are you? I've come to visit. A woman herds a cow on a stony slope. Plants with variegated leaves tremble in the breeze. Native women wearing bright shades of pink, purple, yellow, and red climb the slope together. Each has long braids and colorful patterned scarves. They gather greenery in bundles. Text, Quechua Provincial Federation of Indigenous Women, Women's Health and Wellness Organization. Hello, welcome. Tarsila, welcome. Thank you for coming to visit. Now I've come to talk with you ladies. Sisters, who can tell us about their experience from their own life? In our community, we live with constant work as women. We are affected more than anything by droughts, hail and frost. And our produce is not like it should be. It used to be normal, but now the produce is not surviving. Not more than anything, we worry about feeding our children and families because climate change is threatening everything. And you, sister, what can you share with us? Well, Miss Tarsila, it worries us that our politicians have forgotten us women.